manifest, manifest, manifest. Charlie, Mama, V. Good morning. Oh, Charlie, I vim, need vim. to go through this day, man. I yeah, know. I know. Such a know. terrible call uh, today. I know. I yeah, know. so Roland will be doing most of the talking. Yeah, and we have to do relationship too. And, and today yeah. we have DIM. We'll play that back to you again. And um, That letter from Kipko's, huh? Yeah. Charlie. I don't know. You know, like in the in the wake of this whole uh, complete sexuality education conversation, yeah, yeah. it's just we we're beginning to reflect on some of the things that go on even in our personal lives, and I see that that's the place <laughs> where this letter is coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. I've and, been and, doing a lot of thinking myself. And, and personally, uh, even though I, I, well, we may say I may say I I don't fall in some categories, but even some innuendos and some things we say. I just uh, just not uh, appropriate. Yes, yeah. sexually inappropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Well. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's do the newspapers. We would remind you of the letter that we have we received from Cape Coast. Uh, yeah, when we can. But let's do the newspapers. I have the Daily Graphic, the Finder, the Canadian Times newspaper, and the Daily Statesman newspaper. Roland, shall uh, I go? Yeah. All let's right. Go. Front page of the Daily Graphic. Ghana's economy in good shape, according to the IMF. It says the International Monetary Fund uh, has given Ghana's economy a clean bill of health. According to uh, the fund, Ghana's economy remains stable and projected a 7% gross domestic product growth for 2019. Uh, graphic editor comments Vogacom for Global Awards. Review legal literature to reflect current trends. There's also another story on the front page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. President inaugurates second medical drone center at Empania. All right, so I see that you, you can't see the, um, the headlines in terms of what I've been reading to you. So here we go. This is what's on the front page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Uh, let's do the back page. It says President inaugurates projects in Nature. Also, Anglo Gold donates vehicles to police. And in the center spread of the paper, NAPCO to deploy digital platform to monitor trainees performance. Gambian delegation calls on immigration service uh, will under steady operations and decriminalize suicide behavior, a call by the mental health authority. Hmm. That's it for the Daily Graphic, Roland. Yeah, um, you can continue. No, you do. Okay. So I have the Daily Guide. Front page of the Daily Guide says how our 2 ACN was charged with stealing 70 million Ghana CDs. UGVC fight sex charge. You also know the reaction of Andrea Pizzicone. Uh, we brought that to you as well, an interaction she had clarifying her earlier post, it was like statement uh, on Twitter as well, and had an interaction on Prime, during his Prime. Ghana's economy pro progressive, says IMF. Ghana post uh, makes progress. So we have uh, that as well. And um, so, okay, on the back, uh, um, on the back page, Dramena ruled out of football indefinitely. Uh, Perez Zidane fight over Pagba, Ericsson. Pagba, Pagba, this is Pagba, Pogba, okay. And it says that Zidane made this public admiration for Pogba, but Madrid were unable to meet United's valuation, according to the report. And uh, new GFA should hold integrity, according to Samuel Enimado, uh, a GFA executive council candidate. Mm, Samuel Enimado, I also know that manages uh, Asa, the Asamojan Foundation, etc. Let's go to the Daily Dispatch newspaper. has on the front page, how a plot to assassinate Liman failed, a revelation from Quanson's book, from an intelligence boss. And then we also have Ghana spent, just um, listen to this, $1.35 billion to import rice keke in 2018. We spent $1.35 billion keke to import rice in 2018. Um, so over the years we've been doing that. It's just been increasing year after year. Uh, dispatch analysis of 200 constituencies towards 2020 election continues on Monday. You know, make sure you stay glued to the paper. Get all the predictions, constituency by constituency. Um, the candidate that will pitch uh, themselves uh, will be 
um, going into that election knowing who will win or will not win according to the predictions of the Daily Dispatch. Uh, Ekufado's worry. My government's credibility is at stake if MMDCE's referendum fails. I'm not sure that anybody wants it to fail. I think that we will vote for it. We want them to be elected. Now, let's go to the publisher. The Ghanaian publisher has the front page story. Mpanya Drone Center opens. We also have Benihin. Storms make us tonight. Make us should be a church, I believe. Make us is a church. <laughs> mm, it's a church. Thought it was it a is. prayer. Girl. Make us house. Yes. Okay, international. Who's the chief executive? It's a huge church, by the way. Who's the chief executive for that church? Uh, Quite, I think it's, is it Nyamacho or something mm. like that? Yeah, but you should find it. Okay. The story and then we have, my sex accuser is bitter. You also watched the UG vice chancellor today, Professor Udrosu. But she also clarifies, right? She says she didn't, she didn't mean... Uh, In that contest, yes. yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's do the, uh, the Ghanaian Times newspaper front page. Transport operators, developers in standoff over Obra Sports. <gasps> Government will coexist with MMDCEs after election, ac according to President Ekufuado. Uh, Public Accounts Committee orders Mion DCE to refund some 34,000 Ghana CDs. Uh, police set ablaze 150-acre wee farm arrest four suspects. Uh, these are the headlines on the front page of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. On the back page, Shai chiefs threatened demo over bad roads. More than 70% Ghanaian children live under deprived conditions. Let's check out what's in the center spread of the paper. Uh, full story of what's on the front page. Government uh, will coexist with MMDCs after election. It says the president uh, has assured that the executive arm of government will find a way to coexist with metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives when they are elected democratically, regardless of their political affiliation. Well, our fear, really, Mr. President, is the fact that uh, there, there, there could possibly be some finger pointing if uh, there's a lack of infrastructure or something that has to be done. It's very easy, or it will be. Uh, for the executive to say, well, go and ask the person that you elected. person elected will say, well, go and ask the government. And I think that's the conversation that we're having yesterday because they have not released a certain amount that's supposed to come to us. Yeah. You know, that kind of, that's really, that's the greatest and, fear. And, and in putting all that you've said into context, and it's, it is in relation to the fact that we have what they call the strongholds, and the strongholds generally... Uh, as we have witnessed in the Fourth Republic, no matter what you do, they won't vote for a, a certain political party in mm. terms of give it a certain quantum of votes. For that party to know that we have some loyalists or people who believe in us. Yeah. And so we've seen a pattern in which that where parties that form the government don't have or think that they don't have the loyalty or don't have those areas as strongholds, don't tend to invest more when they are in power. Mm. And it's happened in the Fourth Republic. So we have, um, you can choose to ignore it, but that's the truth. And if you have such an area in which somebody is an MC or a DC or whatever it is, it means that once uh, it is perceived, just like the assembly elections, he doesn't have the backing or doesn't belong to that uh, political fraternity. It becomes a difficulty. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Unless it is a man who won the election, which will not be possible. And I think we also have a very good example in Parliament uh, where there are two main parties in Parliament, but you'd see that the majority in Parliament obviously goes with the executive. And so if you also have <laughs> a, a metropolitan chief executive who is affiliated, who is from the same party as the ruling government, we're talking about ac accountability, transparency. We're talking about a chief executive who would fight, yeah. you know, for his municipality yeah. or districts. Would we really see that? Mm. Well, or we would see the two um, going together and moving yeah, exactly. on everything just like we see in parliament. Exactly. So, uh, and, 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 and if you take the more developed countries, let's say if it is Egypt, or Algeria, Tunisia, or you take uh, South Africa, for example, and outside you take the developed countries in Europe and the United States of America, you get to find that the mayors and all those who have elective positions um, tend to get voted because where they will be supervising or administering have good economies. So, for example, you take California and many of the sub-areas in Los Angeles, etc., 
I mean, California alone has over a 200 billion GDP. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so, so they can generate enough from those areas. And mm -hmm. if you take our country, apart from Accra, Tema, you take uh, Takrade, the right. urban areas, I mean, virtually, if you're in Adaklu or you're in somewhere in Dominasi, you know, and you're the DC in Fansiman or something like that, Charlie, if your party no the power or the party you're perceived to belong to, even though it's supposed to be non-partisan, Charlie, yeah, comes a difficult. But well but but, but, but it's we're all told well that and go for us to vote. I think, but the consequences, you know, the aftermath of that is what yeah. we're talking about. I think here. I think that we have to put some things in the constitution that makes it mandatory. Just beyond saying that these allocations will come, that they will be given the power to either go source for some facilities to use to develop. Et so if the constitution doesn't say something. The constitution is silent on something. Are we saying that how old are we again? We can't think. I think even the and, one that constitution says we have difficulties with us. it. I mean, that's it's a reality. I, I well, think that we have to bring um, Obi Amwai again to come and keep conscientizing us that, well, it will be well. But the reality is that what we say I, we will do, we don't. I, I'm just looking. And, 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 well, okay. Yeah. Let's do this. There's this story in the center spread, which, which is also in one other paper, about the Public Accounts Committee uh, giving a one week ultimatum to the district chief executive of Mion in the northern region, Al-Haji Mohammed Abdullahi Hashim and his line officers to refund 34,000 Ghana cities meant for disabled persons that has been diverted by the assembly. The officers, instead of spending the 34,000 Ghana cities on the disabled persons, diverted it into other areas. Uh, chairman of the committee, James Avaji, uh, who was infuriated about the action of the assembly, ordered the refund of the money within one week beginning yesterday at the PAC meeting in Tamale the committee members warned the assemblies never to tamper with the disability fund under the district assemblies common fund so that's a big shame on the assembly to think that there were monies allocated and they actually used it for something else not for the purpose for which it was meant for uh, uh, and and this is it how long ago was this public accounts committee would come and look at the document what a year after or some months down yeah. the line? The Public Accounts Committee looks after, I think we're yeah, always a year yeah. behind. Exactly. So let's say two years, Yeah. two financial years. So year. can Fiscal we imagine year. what this 34 was supposed to do that it didn't do? How many years down the line? Yeah. And, and so you're, you're, you're thinking by the time we come to take a look at it. Damage has been done already. <laughs> I mean, we can't give even one week or we can't not. We can retrieve it. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I know. I don't know. It's, I, it's, 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 a, it's a big problem. So you see. Can we solve this conundrum? I don't know. Uh, let's quickly do the Find a Newspaper front page. Second drone center airborne. First center has delivered 7,000 critical emergency medicines. President comments zip line for impressive start. Uh, First lady gives a facelift to 89-year-old old Osu government maternity home. Ghana's macroeconomy is favorable, according to the IMF. And Mahama uh, asked government to stop using the law to oppress dissenting voices that's the front page of the finder newspaper let me do my last paper which is the daily statesman uh, tyler perry opens his 250 million dollar atlanta film studio yeah that's that's when you know the industry is growing this is an individual by the way you're, we're not talking about what the the state itself has invested into into creative arts, but this is one man, and this is one black man, by the way. Uh, well, he's actually the first Ghana. black man to own something of the sort. Yeah. And if you take a look at the uh, on YouTube, um, what it's it's a, a, a acreages um, landmass in which they have a replica of mm. all the structures that could be used in acting. So the White House is there, they have the pyramids, they have everything Shall that it? you want. And I, you know, sometime back, I, w I went to, I think um, in the mid-2000s around, I went to Egypt, and they have this, what they call the media city. So they have replication of the White House. I went there, it's, so, it's, it's almost like the same thing that they do. So yeah. you see the shots, the shots, uh, 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 it's dollied, and you think that this is the White House. They ah. went to ask permission. Yeah, they didn't go. The they didn't go to the White House. They didn't move out of So they, they do these in the studios. Yeah. Now, what the Egyptian did was to have the government commit to it. Yeah. And that is what. And we that's did. what Nigeria 
also, also, yeah. also the because because the the arts, football or sports, etc., create so much value chain for employment and revenue, so much so that it becomes part and parcel of the economy. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe the brains that God gave us is different. <laughs> but 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 the thing is, you can imagine a whole movie in Hollywood tends to generate over a billion. If Ghana's parliament wants to even approve 200 million, MPP and NDC MPs will insult each other for two weeks before it's approved. <laughs> they'll walk out. <laughs> there, will, there will be so much tension no, before no. they approve 200 million. It depends. It depends on the purpose. Well, I'm, I'm, the I'm, just, I'm just talking about. I'm just talking about. But I get where you're coming from and where you're I'm going. I'm just talking about the things that we have that we we should value. Yeah. That we I know. tell you what we're thinking about as Tyler Perry opens his 250 million Atlanta film studio. We're still debating where we should have the film village, whether Chebi or Kumasi. <laughs> there shouldn't have been any debate at all. We should have film villages uh, if we can have it in every region. Okay. I mean, fine. Wait, okay. If, let me, if a let private let person can build way. it. No, we're, we're yet to have our first film village. Uh, that, we don't even have a dome, a complex, like where we can have entertainment shows. Well, we have a, we have a private dome at the conference center. We, Which we one? had an old one. Oh, there's one that Chatterhouse is running. No, no, I'm not talking about those, uh, <laughs> is it POP or those adhesive, those uh, trapoline, well, that's, that's the trapoline things. But that's the dome. Oh, no, 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 no. You're no, talking no. about a national dome. Yeah, like a building. So wait for the National Cathedral. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's run through what's on the front page of the, of the Daily Statesman. Did I kill your vim right there? <laughs> Okay, uh, take off two, uh, uh, take off take off two so. for medical drones. Uh. President says Ghanaians must have access to essential medicines. Uh, Ghana is vibrant despite Africa uh, slow down, according to the World Bank. Uh, when we're done with the papers, Roland, are you done with all the papers? You no, have? I'm not done. Right. Can I continue? Yes, can. So I have the, the new publisher. The new publisher has that uh, interesting story. No sexual harassment. Legon VC accuser makes you turn. And then Ghana gets second medical drone center, and this one, I have to say, is good technology. While we do this, then we develop the health facilities we have so that people can get equitable distribution of uh, health care and the resources that are tied to it. I have to say that the vice president, the president, this one's a good one. And we should, we should continue with this. Technology is a way to go. Artificial intelligence is the way to go. Chinese children are learning. <laughs> serious things, just like in America and Europe. Uh, we shouldn't take it for a joke. I love this. Always will go for it. As I want to say, uh, MPP Bruhaha over, uh, according to this paper, uh, the president has declared support for um, Mr. Seydou, who is the MCE, who was also elected, unopposed it was. Uh, B suspect arrested that over... That was invalid. Well, the party says it's invalid, but I'm told that the president, the president has got to endorse. <laughs> no, so they're going to run again. Sir. Yeah. Uh, I've never turned my mind to it. Page three. They're going to run again. Okay. You Page okay? Uh, it's not here. That okay. Two and four praises. Anyway, so we have, uh, then we have the, the Gold Street business. The Gold Street business says public debt set to increase on new IMF advice. They said the economy, uh, despite, um, the region, the sub-Saharan Africa region, or even the sub-region, not going to do too well. Um, Ghana's economy is still favorable, and so it's given us uh, the leverage to increase the debt portfolio. And I think that's a good thing. The president and his team, the vice president, head of the economic management team, have been able to manage the economy so well. The variables look good. They look good. So once you manage it, how, it, how is that reflecting in the lives of individuals? Yeah, that's my, that micro. We're talking macro. Your, you're, you're, you're talking micro. Yeah, what's I'm the talking point? Macro. See, okay, so ordinary people. I mean, when when you say macro and micro, okay. So let me explain. Still, no, no. I'm, I'm not <laughs> asking for your explanation. I know. I know. We don't I, care I, about. I know you know what I know. I we want to explain to you. We care about how that is reflecting. No, but it's important. In, in, in our ordinary lives. That's okay. what it is. So do the rest of the stories. Don't. So you're saying that we're just don't like take me healthy. To macro. We're healthy on the outside, but, but don't, don't inside. give me um, book <laughs> macro figures. I mean. Good morning to my shaman traders. What when are you I loaded, okay. You're always okay. complaining. I Listen, said this and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this on to my director so we put it on the screen.
something like I don't understand something. You know, we talked about the the tax, it, the the communication it, tax, the CST. I I, think I, I I was I was incredibly amazed yesterday. But you continue the paper. I'll tell you why. You you I, haven't I bought have, credit I'll in a while. put the communication <laughs> on the screen for, for 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 you to see what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. So so we have VRA show of delivering sixty percent of Ghana's solar power. That's a good thing. And then we also have. Um, um, invite uh, invite private sector to generate the other forty percent. We have tax regime driving mining exploration away from Ghana as government maintains that on exploration. So we have this as well. Okay, so that's a good thing. Um, okay, Mawavi. Yeah. Yeah. We will do my joy online, Doc. Are you done? Mm, yeah, I'm done. Pretty okay. much. All right. Okay, so that's the hardcore newspapers that we have in the studio that we've just uh, um, reviewed. We will do myjoyonline.com. Shall we do myjoyonline.com? Patrick Gomez, our director. Okay, here we go. So we have Ghana Muslim Mission commands a kufad on CSE statements. 16-year-old girl sees light after four years of blindness. And we know that uh, Leticia Vijan from Cape Coast, uh, who lost her sight four years ago, resulting in the curtailment of uh, education, has had her sight restored. My work has produced beautiful girls or being photo critics. <laughs> Liberia riot police shut anti rear radio station. <laughs> 31st December, women's movement had no state funding. Nana Kunedu. Stop blaming pastors for spate of crime. Eastwood Anaba. Students react to Sex for Grades documentary. And Abena Koko recounts sex for great encounter with lecturer. It's a former student of the University of Cape Coast, Nana Abena Koko Ado, has said she once had to fight off a lecturer's relentless demands for sex. Fight off. Mm, yeah. As a reality. We have a professor. Uh, Goski Alabi, who will be joining us in the studio she right after be. sports this she morning. Uh, uh, she, she's come up with uh, some suggestions. We're going to interrogate those, including what, what, a what, dress code. For what? Primary school? Mm. Right? Univ we're talking university. Oh, how? Um, okay. Oh, we'll my, former, my former, but, my former but lecturer. Yeah, but, but yeah. So she's going to share her experience, why she thinks that this is an option that we should look at, oh. how that has helped. She talked about the total quality management IPS. at UPSA. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, oh, really? So, yeah. So, so we'll, try and, we'll try and interrogate a few of the points uh, here on the show. She said we should be wearing so, uniforms, yeah. like Trinico. <laughs> oh, Goski Alabi. Okay, pa Patrick, please, can we, can we put what I sent you? So this is it. I tried to, um, if we can enlarge it so people can see it. <laughs> okay, properly. we'll enlarge we'll, it. Yeah. I tried to renew my my broadband, right? And and I used to pay two hundred and forty Ghana series. Yes, please. Okay. And you use data. You use like credits. Uh, air time. Air time. I use air time like how? I pay with mobile money. Uh, which one is this? This is MTN. MTN, okay. Yeah. Uh. So this is broadband. Mm -hmm. This is just renewing, right? Mm. Okay. And then. Um, it said I was gonna pay two hundred and fifty six, like two five six point eight. Mm -hmm. But before I would pay two forty. Mm -hmm. So I took a shot. I was like, no, maybe this is a mistake, and then it, I didn't do it. So I had to show it. it to in your someone. mind, this is a mistake. Yeah, okay. because I mean, two forty to two five six point eight. But what is wrong with it? Are you kidding me? Didn't that's, you listen to the budget? First October, the chamber. So, so you know when the you telecom chamber announcing. So when you're talking about the macro, when you're talking about the macro, I told you, it's different when it has been announced that we're gonna put. Um, whatever it is, percentage on what, whatever. You really so begin to feel it. You, you really begin to feel it when you purchase okay. the thing. 
And I've been buying credit on my phone, mm -hmm. except that I haven't been paying attention. I know people have been talking about the fact that they take the thing even before they give you your credit. Yeah. But I haven't been paying attention. It was just yesterday. And I was like, oh my God, this is it. Now I really feel it. This is a lot more than I expected. Uh, so if you, it means that even for your data, yeah. your broadband, you are paying. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. It's, it's still telecom service. Hey. It is communication service tax. It's <laughs> not talk time. <laughs> communication service tax. So every service that is provided, I don't know why Ghanaians are feeling reluctant to accept this. Let's That's bring what you it spots. Uh, after sport, we have uh, some great interactions. Uh, we, we have a comedian in the studio, but we also have the boys from the Presbyterian uh, Boys Secondary School. Legon also joining us a bit later on. So stay with us, sports first. <laughs>